Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Daniel Umstead, host of the RNG Radio Show. And uh, the individual that I was able to get on the show today, I'm really excited about it because um, it's a passion of mine just for me being in the recruiting and staffing industry, but uh, hearing about this, um, you know, as she uh, prepares young men and young women and those who are currently just seeking, um, I'd like to give it up for the one, the only, the world-renowned career coach, Alicia Peen. Alicia, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Daniel. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to talk to you about this information. And yeah, thanks again for having me. Not a problem, not a problem. So Alicia, tell us all about it. What What is it that you do and what is it that you're doing as far as preparing individuals to get in the career of their choice rather than what corporate and everybody else says per their piece of paper? Yes. Okay. So first I'll just issue a disclosure that I am an HR professional. I do work in corporate, so I'm a li I have a little bit of duality when it comes to the career space as well as um, being on the other side of the desk. So um, when I started working in HR, um, I got a little bit more insight of how the hiring process works, what recruiters look for, what managers look for in uh, skills and you know, character when it comes to hiring. And so it really spans across multiple industries. It's not, you know, a particular uh, industry, meaning retail, you know, engineering, things of those nature. So there are certain things that are standard across those things. And then, of course, there's specialties within those industries. So with that being said, I decided to take the knowledge and the, the information and my education that I got um, and working in that space and helping others kind of bridge that gap because a lot of college students and entry level professionals struggle for that first year that they get out of college or, you know, that first year to get promoted or to get seen or to find leadership opportunities. And I figured out a way to accelerate that process so that it doesn't take you, you know, 15, 20 years to become a director or a senior leader. Right. You can you can learn how to identify opportunities early in your career. You can learn how to upskill on your own or look for different ways to do that within, you know, think groups and things like that. So um, what I've been able to do is, like I said, do uh, coaching with individuals based on that. Of course, like I said, you know, major uh, is important. Uh, industry is important, all those things. But again, certain things are just universal that are going to help uh, a lot of these individuals. Awesome, awesome. Now, uh, without folks uh, Googling you like crazy, and um, hopefully they're not too crazy where they're knocking on your door at your uh, job or office, uh, where can actually folks go to uh, get more information about what you do? Yes, so my website is www.aliciapeen.com. I also have um, a location in Montclair, New Jersey, where I do see clients, but, uh, you know, COVID kind of put a pause on that. However, I do see people uh, virtually, um, even before COVID, you know, it's just kind of a little bit more convenient. But, you know, again, there is that space for people who need more individual in-person services as well as group activities as well. So that is, uh, that location is 18-20 Lackawanna Plaza in Montclair. So, okay. you know, just just for general knowledge, but of course you need to make an appointment to, you know, don't just pop up. But um, uh, you can also find me on Instagram, AP underscore career coach, um, and Facebook at Alicia Peen as well. Awesome, awesome. Now, uh, because we are in the world of technology, I mean, if somebody wanted to Google how to build a rocket ship, they could do <laughs> just that. Why should somebody actually work with a career coach such as yourself rather than just Googling tips and tricks um, to find their career? Because the thing with Googling the information is that you get the information that, and that's fine, but a lot of people don't know how to apply it to their own situation. So what uh, a career coach can help you do is take that information, learn how to apply it, and learn how to put it into place when you're actually in the workplace. So you can learn, for example, how to uh, ace a behavioral-based interview, right, where you're being asked questions about your past experience, and they'll use that to make judgment on, on, on how you perform uh, in the workplace. However, if you memorize a set of questions and then you get a curveball when you're in the interview, then you're stuck, right, and then you right. kind of mess up. So working with a career coach teaches you how to uh, critically think about things, critically critically think about your past experiences, understand how all of your work experience kind of lends itself to your current body of work. Um, it helps you understand how to put a portfolio together, how to, you know, uh, communicate yourself, how to use those tools the right way, instead of just taking information off the internet and just, you know, putting it together on a resume. Gotcha. I see that a lot. Gotcha. No, I, I really appreciate that insight. Um, 
<clears throat> even though uh, with the radio show, I do tell people, you know, certain tips and tricks, but I also like to tell them, you know, what action steps they could take. But a lot of it definitely does need that handheld. Like, hey, you know, you can Google all you want. You can check out as many YouTube interviews as you want. But um, with my day job, we do work with a client that they do ask behavioral interview questions. So if somebody's not prepared or if somebody's not quick to hit the pause button and and more importantly, getting that feedback. So I really appreciate you um, being able to do that with folks. Uh, the other question I have, um, you know, with you uh, being uh, that there are very few dedicated career coaches uh, such as uh, yourself out there, what makes you different, though, than anybody else? Though? So what makes me different is the backstory to me becoming a career coach. So I didn't just come out the blue sky and say, hey, I want to be a career coach. Um, my journey from my first job all the way to, you know, working in corporate and even being an entrepreneur speaks to the acceleration process that I'm able to give to a client. So for example, um, when I work with, let's say as early as a uh, sophomore in college, instead of you trying to figure out this major or failing this many classes and doing all of those things, I start to work with you earlier on in your college career so that you understand, you know, your developing personality, the things that you like, the, the way to match up, you know, your current skills, interests and things like that into the type of job you want to do, how to forecast that ahead of time so that you're not stuck with something that's going to fizzle out five years from now. And so really taking you through the process of, you know, looking further down and, and starting that path now. So instead of, you know, waiting till you graduate to say, hey, I'm ready to look for a job, you should be already looking at employers that you're interested in sophomore year. You should be interning. You should be volunteering. You should be doing so many different things. Um, even team sports, you know, there's way to pull those things. Uh, there's ways to pull skills and characteristics out of that to put on your resume, even if you don't have actual work experience. So what I've been able to do instead of just having someone come and book me to make a resume for them, right? I actually go through an interview process with them. So I'm going to interview you about what's on your resume. I'm going to ask you about it and, you know, help you to understand why certain things should be on the resume that you probably missed, that you didn't think was important enough to go on there, or you may have worded it in a way that it makes it look like you really don't do anything at work when you really do. So I, I find that um, going through that process with clients instead of just doing the resume for them is so much better because if I create a bomb resume for you and you go in that interview and you bomb it, they're going to be like, well, this is not the same person that is on this paper. So I like to actually do the coaching process with them so that there's a starting point and there's an end point. I know, you know, traditional coaching is, you know, kind of continuous depending on your goals, but, you know, with coaching, it's, it's continuous in a sense that you want to make the right decisions in your career, you know, up to a certain point, maybe, you know, five years and whatever. But, you know, it, it's, it gets you to a place where you can at least, you know, identify those opportunities, like I said, in the workplace that you can be a leader or, you know, knowing when it's time to move on or knowing who are the right people to mentor with. So it's, it's really getting you to a place where you know how to do that on your own. That's awesome. Awesome. I, I love that. And I'm, I'm glad that you laid it out because uh, a lot of coaches will just uh, pretty much just do your resume, give you a few tips and leave it at that, you know. So yeah. for the fact that you put that 110 percent in to ensure like, hey, you know, my success isn't going to be great if I just did your resume or if I give you a few pointers, exactly. but to actually walk you through the process to that goal line of, you know, you getting into your dream career, not so much dream job. Absolutely. And it, it's a it's a blow to your reputation as a coach. Right. If that person, you write a resume, if that person doesn't get employed for, what, a whole nother year, you know, based on just having a resume because they're bombing interviews, you don't have that data. You don't know because you've already just written them a resume and sent them off. So I'm, you know, being having a, you know, a background education with, you know, some data management is important to me to follow those people down the line. How long did it take you to get hired? How long did it take, you know, those things so I know that the work that I'm doing is working. Awesome. And that actually, uh, I wanted to ask a follow-up question. Um, how do you actually measure the success of your clients? Is it just that quarterly or how soon that they do get a job or how soon the resume does get reviewed? How do you measure your success? Well, it's, it's measured on an individual basis, which is not psychology friendly. I know people would be like, no, you gotta have it generalized. But, you know, I, I try to do it that way. But at the same time, it's based on 
are you happy with your career path? How, how much time did you save by working with a career coach or starting your, your journey earlier than someone who didn't? So I look at those numbers. I look at, um, you know, the amount of time that it's going to take you to go from the, uh, the resume process all the way through, you know, getting hired, the orientation process. How are you onboarded? How did they treat you? You know, how does that speak to you as an employee and your performance and your work ethic? So I look at all of that and say, you know, if this person is happy where they are, and it's not about necessarily staying there, you know, you can move around and, and gather different experiences, but it's really about um, measuring how satisfied that person is in their path. You can be a gig worker and be completely happy, right? Yeah. Because you, you're just, you're, you, you want to do different things. You don't want to be stuck to the same thing, right? So yeah. it, it really depends on the individual career. But generally, you know, it's, it's how long did they get to stay in that path that they love instead of being all over the place. Gotcha, gotcha. No, 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 I, I, I completely understand. Thank you for that. And then um, what can we actually expect uh, coming from you? Like, or what are you looking towards even for yourself um, as far as growing, um, you know, your, your business and branding? Uh, what do you see for yourself in the next year or even the next uh, three years, I should say? Yes, so in the next year, well, actually sooner than that, I'm creating an app. I'm working with a web development company to create an app. And you're getting like the scoop on this. No one else knows about this yet. You know, we're you still kind of- <laughs> Then this interview, just stop, because we not going to spread any- Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, out the bag now. So yeah, I'm working with um, a web development company that specializes in small businesses. Um, it's no coding involved. It's a drag and drop app. I'm so happy with it. Shout out to them. I'll, I'll give you their, their name at the end. But um, I'm creating that app to be a resource for job seekers, to be um, a guide for college students. And it's basically going to push out tips. It's going to push out classes, uh, challenges, and things just to keep people engaged so that as they're going through their career journey, it's not, like I said, that one stop of, I got a couple pieces of paper from you, now I'm ready to move on. It's, you know, have you talked to your boss today? Have you measured your own performance today? Um, you know, what are your plans in one year? You know, just kind of those push notifications, you know, not too annoying, but you know, those, those daily reminders, those weekly reminders, those tips that can help you kind of stay in that mind frame of, I'm building my career every day. That is really so I'm great. excited about that. It's going to be called Career Hair. Career Hair. Now that's... Hair, hair like the rabbit. Hair. Okay. I was about to ask you. I was like, hair like hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hair like awesome. the rabbit because I believe in the acceleration process so deeply right. by doing these things ahead of time that I want people to have the idea that because I'm using this service, my, my happiness, my career, my, uh, you know, my acceleration is going to be that much faster because of these services. Awesome, awesome. I, I definitely, that's the word well, I was looking for. Well, I look forward to the app and I definitely uh, will be actually sharing it as a resource uh, for the candidates as well. Um, we actually use a few things because uh, uh, some of the employers um, require like doing a higher view, a video interview. So we definitely like take a YouTube video and share that uh, with folks. If you yourself have one, definitely by all means, uh, feel free to send me the link. We'd love to uh, get your face out there with that. Uh, another question, but before I get to that other question, and I know you've just been hitting us up with uh, gem after gem, uh, <laughs> where can uh, folks uh, actually go again to uh, find you on social media or, and or your website? Yes, so my website again is www.aliciapeen.com. So on there, you will find information about individual classes. You'll find pre-recorded classes. You'll find my book, Get Hired. And Get Hired is a seven-step guide to all things getting hired, you know, basically. And so you'll get tips on how to do a resume, how to do a cover letter, how to do a portfolio, how to interview well, how to, um, you know, accept your offer, how to negotiate, um, ways that you could slide in the back door, you know, the automation monster kills a lot of, uh, you know, applications before they even reach a person. So it's little, you know, tips to get around those processes and not necessarily cheat the system, but, but know what you're facing so that you can get past those firewalls that may be, you know, keeping you back. It's not that you're not a good candidate. It's that you got to know how to play the game, essentially. Oh. I completely understand. Now, yeah, uh, the book, uh, Get Hired, where can actually folks uh, get a copy of that book? 
Yes, so it's available ebook as well as paperback. You can get it on the website or you can get it on Amazon. Okay. Um, again, it's, it's called Get Hired, all caps, or it, I don't think it matters when you type it in. But um, again, it's a really good read. It's $9.99 on ebook and it's $19.99. Uh, for the hardcover, or, or, I'm sorry, the paperback. And when I tell you it's it's gems the same way, you know, we talked about a lot of things here. I guarantee you, um, you know, it'll be increased callbacks, you know, different results than maybe what you were getting if you weren't getting any results previously. Awesome, awesome. Well, uh, folks, you, you heard it best as far as where to go to, aliciapeen.com to get that book. Uh, all the information we talked about 10 times that and so much more um, is available via Amazon. But scratch Amazon, they already got enough money. Just go directly to <laughs> aliciapeen.com right, to, <laughs> to get that book. Uh, Alicia, before I let you go, uh, one question that I ask all of my guests that come on the show, what advice uh, would you give to the next entrepreneur that's looking to start their business or even that entrepreneur that is struggling in regards to getting their business off the ground? I would say um, consistency is key. Um, it can seem like, you know, things are going nowhere. Um, but as long as you stay consistent, you, you create a plan, write a plan down. I have post-its all on the side of my wall. I'm not even going to show you because it's probably going to be embarrassing. But really just putting the, uh, taking the thoughts from your head, doing a brain dump, really getting all that stuff out and then giving yourself some organization. And then also finding mentors is going to help you. Find people that don't mind, you know, sharing the things that they struggled with. Again, with that acceleration, why go through the mud when you can have somebody kind of, you know, help you avoid you know, some of the pitfalls of entrepreneurship. And I know that um, even from being in the, the black owned New Jersey group, um, a lot of people struggle so? with, right? <laughs> so I know a lot of people struggle with, uh, you know, funding their business. And so uh, many of us have the, you know, the luck to be able to still work while we're, while we're entrepreneurs. So being able to take just a little bit, you know, of that to, to pump into your business helps. You know, so it's very many different ways. Again, you just have to get with people that, you know, are knowledgeable, that don't mind sharing, that, you know, will, will give you some value. And then you also, you know, give value back as well. So you never know what the relationship can be, um, you know, when you do that. So that's what I would say, you know, other than the cliche stuff, you know, it's hard. It, you right. know, I'm not gonna say it's easy, but consistency is where you're gonna get over the road, the roadblocks. That, that is my favorite word. Ever since I started with the radio shows, my, my favorite word has been consistency. Because that's all I hear, consistency and persistence. So, I, I mean, as long as folks have that, they'll be good to go, along with uh, definitely what you said. I think the mentor thing is so much, is so powerful um, in its own sense because you have somebody who's been through the same steps as you, who's been through the struggle, who has been through the, you know what, I'm done. I'm, I don't even know why I started a business and still kept going. So, uh, and they love to share. Like if you yes. get around good people, they actually like to share, you know, they find value in, in, you know, spewing that back out to someone else to help them because it's, it's a good feeling. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, uh, Alicia, before you go, uh, can you give us that uh, website and social media info one more time? For us? Yes. So it's aliciapeen.com. It's AP underscore career coach on Instagram. And it's Alicia Peen on Facebook. I'm also on Twitter. On Twitter, I'm Peen Alicia. So it's backwards. Okay. But um, I do a lot of um, retweeting and sharing job opportunities on there too. So I, I would definitely say follow there if, you're, if you have a hard time looking for um, opportunities in New Jersey. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, uh, Alicia, thank you so much for being on the show. Folks, if you're listening, you're watching, whatever you're doing, just stop what you're doing. Go check out the website, aliciapeen.com. Get that book. You got $20 lying around. Go ask your uncle, knock on the door, instead of asking for a cup of sugar, just ask for $20 so you get that book in your hand right now. <laughs> and it is, say you don't want to get the uh, hard copy, get the digital copy, just make sure it's two. So, <laughs> Alicia, thank you again so much for being on the show. Greatly appreciate having you here. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Definitely, definitely. And uh, for the folks at home, check me out Monday through Friday on Facebook Live at 7 a.m. And if you just happen to miss uh, the morning show, be sure to catch the uh, YouTube replay and for such interviews such as these. Alicia, thank you again so much for being on.
Flesled on the beat. 